Hi, my name is Taryn and today I'm going to be doing my series called Dealing with a Narcissist. This is part five of the series. And in this part of the series, I'm just going to be discussing the personality of a narcissist. Um, I like to tell my particular story and with that, I don't mention any names. The only thing that I'll mention is the gender, uh, but I am not mentioning any names for the sake of identity. And so um, in the past videos, I talked about the character of a narcissist. Um, I believe that was in part two. And in that particular part of the series, I talked about how the narcissist can do something called gaslighting. Now, gaslighting actually came from a movie from way back in the day that I haven't watched. Um, but apparently in that movie, the guy, the husband in that movie was trying to pretty much put his wife away. And so he was doing little things around the house and everything to make the woman feel like she was crazy so that he could have a legitimate reason to put her away in a mental institution or something like that. Um, and so he was pretty much distorting her reality and making her think that she was crazy. Um, so that's pretty much what a, um, a narcissist would do. A narcissist will do anything possible to make you seem like you're crazy. Um, even if they've done something wrong and you've acknowledged it, um, they will pretty much make you think that they didn't do anything. And they'll say things like, you didn't see that, or you didn't, I, I didn't say that, or maybe, uh, you know, I, I said something close to that the other day, but it's not exactly what you think it was. I think you probably need to take a break and sit down. You know, you've been working really hard and you need some time to just relax. They will do everything possible to make it seem as though you are the one who is having an issue and not them. Um, also, one of the things that I want to talk about is that a lot of narcissists start off as extremely charming. And here's how they do that. Now, in my particular situation, uh, the person that I dealt with who was a narcissist he was extremely charming in the beginning to the point where I really loved him, or at least I thought I did. <laughs> I thought I loved him and I thought that he was just one of the greatest people I ever encountered ever in my life. Um, and one of the things that they will do to become extremely charming is they will ask you questions such as, what are some things that you're looking for in a man? Uh, what are some things that, that, that turn you on? What are some things that make you happy? Now, in some cases, some people are honestly asking just so that they can make you happy. But in this particular case, he was asking me these questions so that he could become everything that I had ever wanted. He wasn't necessarily being himself but he was wanting to become what I wanted just so that I could look at him as this amazing person and it would cause me to pretty much be love bombed. Uh, love bombing is something that narcissists do where they're trying to get you so in love with them to the point where when they do anything wrong, you kind of dismiss it. You don't really take it seriously. You don't really look at it as a problem. You kind of ignore the red flags because you love them so much. Um, and so that's something that a lot of narcissists will do. They will love bomb the heck out of you and they'll become extremely charming to the point where anytime they do something wrong, you just, you know, you kind of just dismiss it because, hey, I mean, you know, everybody makes mistakes, right? Well, with the narcissist, they'll um, they'll use this as an excuse to willingly continue making mistakes. Um, they'll use this as an opportunity to continue doing the things that are malicious um, without you feeling some type of way or without you getting upset. And if you do get upset, they will get mad and twist the situation and blame it on you and say, well, the only reason why I did this was because you said this or you did this or blah, blah, blah. I'll use my situation as an example. Um, anytime I confronted my narcissist about anything that he did wrong, 
He will be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what about when you did this? Or what about when you said this? Remember that? What about when you did this? And every time that would happen, I would be like, well, we're not talking about me right now. We're talking about you. I'm addressing the things that you did to hurt me. But instead of him just taking the blame, instead of him holding himself accountable, he would continue to blame me and flip the issue back on me. So after a while, this started to get extremely annoying and it started to become harmful to the point where I was starting to feel damaged. Um, and that is the key agenda of the narcissist. One of the things that I want to remind you of when it comes to the personality of the narcissist, their favorite subject is them. A narcissist loves him or herself. Now, I know in most cases, they always show that it's mostly men who are narcissists, but there are also narcissistic women. But in my particular case, the person was a man and one of his favorite subject subjects was himself. He enjoyed talking about himself. He enjoyed other people talking about him and telling him great things about himself and giving him all kinds of appraisal. Now, when it comes to the reason for the personality of the narcissist, one of the things that I've learned is that a lot of times personalities are affected by your childhood. And so one of the things that I had to do was to understand where the narcissistic personality came from. It came from a lack of care within their environment. It came from a lack of being taken care of. And so most narcissists cling to people who take care of them. They cling to people who make them feel secure. They cling to people who feed them, who make them feel like they are the most important thing in the planet. Um, they cling to people who validate them. They cling to people who give them appraisal. They cling to people who make them feel like such a superior being because this is something that they probably did not get as a child. They probably didn't feel secure by their parents. They probably didn't feel taken care of by their mother or their father. They probably didn't feel as though they mattered. They were probably ignored or something along those lines. But most narcissists usually have a traumatic childhood. There was something that was lacking. And that's the reason why they behaved the way they did. Um, I know in this particular case, this person had a very rocky relationship with their mother and their father. And so due to the fact that it wasn't necessarily stable, it caused them to sort of distort reality and to create this beautiful life that they want. And it's very dangerous because you walk around and you live life with a distorted reality to the point where when reality hits, you feel lost. Most narcissists have really high anxiety and they become depressed very easily. A lot of narcissists deal with personality disorders and that is the reason why a lot of times they lie. They lie constantly. Now, everybody is known to lie. I mean, I don't know of anybody who has never lied ever in their life. Everybody lies to a certain degree. But with a narcissist, narcissists lie constantly. It is a part of who they are. They distort reality so much to the point where they try to change the reality of other people so that other people can think the way they think, even if the way they think is not real. These are dangerous characteristics <laughs> and it's something that I wanted to point out to you guys so that you will know how to deal with the narcissist moving forward or at least you'll be able to recognize some type of narcissistic behavior. And so I'm going to end the video here. 
Um, and I hope that this video has helped someone in some type of way. Um, if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will be doing more parts of this series. Um, the more I learn and the more I dig deep into my life and my, uh, my situation and the more help that I get dealing with my situation because I am in therapy and I, all of that. So I learn a lot about different types of behaviors and different types of disorders and personalities. And I want to share the knowledge that I've gained from all of this. And so subscribe, hit like, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in part six. Bye.